Hello guys, welcome to our channel Root Coders. I am Arun Ganesh, a developer in Root Coders. In today's topic, we are going to see about image classification using cloud computing. Before getting into our today's topic, make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more further notification. Without any delay, let's get into our process. At first, open up your Google Chrome browser or any other browser and just search for imaga.com I am a g g a dot c o m Then click the first link which you got as a search results in your Chrome browser. If you enter into the browser, sign up with your mail id and create that account in imaga cloud. And then you can see the lots of services provided by them. Tagging, visual search, facial recognition, custom training, a lots of services provided by that Imaga cloud regarding AI and machine learning. And then you will get into your dashboard of your Imaga account and then you can see your authorization key. Here we need this key. This key is very more important to get an access of this cloud. Here this authorization key is our part of our today's program. So we need to copy this and paste this paste it in our program before that we are going to see about our program here i am importing request and json json is nothing but javascript object notation this script is mainly used to transfer a data as a text that can be sent over any network it is mainly used in cloud computing or it is in used in lot of api works and then we are creating an url object to store that imaga cloud link and we are using the tag services of Imaga Cloud as I showed in before in that browser. And now I am creating query string object to store that image URL from Google Chrome. Now let's search for any images in our Google Chrome. Now I am just searching for a street image in Google Chrome. Here I am selecting one street images which looks clumsy and crowded with peoples and I am just copying that address of that image and just pasting, pasting at in our image URL and then I'm initializing one headers to accept that data from that cloud in that I'm accepting the cloud data from in a JSON format and then I'm pasting our authorization key here in authorization token here I am creating a response object to get a response from that Imaga cloud of that image and I am using that request function to requesting an output or a result of that images. As a parameters I am giving a URL and a headers and query strings and then I am creating a data, on, data object to store the response from the Imaga cloud and I am creating a for loop to get a certain number of results from that cloud because the cloud can give our a large outputs at an infinity level by classifying that image and then I am creating a tag object inside the for loop in the tag it stores that image classifying results if that image contains any lights it shows light like that it will stores one by one in that image up to five data it will be stored in that tag because I have gave that in range only to store nearly five data and I am printing that tag now let's run the code and we will all get our result or our output here we got an output and it shows that that image has an looks like city and it has sidewalk and architect looks like architecture buildings and uh, the streets and it has buildings that's what we got our output and here our code doesn't do anything the code is requesting and our imaga cloud to do image classification that is called cloud computing we are just requesting that cloud using our program that's all about this video and make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more further notification if you like this video please make sure to like this video and please share this with your friends